Good morning all, CamelbackTrading.org, coming to you this Friday morning, September 8th. We're looking at Window Traders' market profile of the ES, NENQ. So one day, one day to go in this shortened week. Right now the S&P and the NASDAQ with an inside week, which could provide a good opportunity if we stay that way after today going into next week. Um, today is the last day that these Fed heads can spew their verbal diarrhea. So that'll be nice as they go quiet um, after tomorrow, today or tomorrow. So uh, that's a good thing for us as traders. We have CPI next week uh, and then the Fed the week after that. Right now, the bears are firmly in control of the daily time frame on all three of our indices. For that to stop, we need to take out yesterday's high. We'll see if we're going to do that. Overnight, we did trade above yesterday's high, but look where we are. We're back inside the meat of the profile, in balance, in value, the worst of your risk reward trades. So nothing's changing right now. Same with NQ, and the same with Ridey, as you can see. Um, NQ filled their gap late yesterday. Remember, we still have a gap from back on this day. Not a big one, but we still have it. We also have a double distribution day, as does NQ. So first things first, though, before we can even think about those single prints, we need to come back into balance on the daily. Now, we did probe late yesterday. I said I wasn't going to use Jay's high because it wasn't much of a probe. Right now, again, there's still 75 minutes to go, but that is absolutely being rejected. I do foresee a lot of chop early on today. Okay, you have the 11 wide POC. We have the afternoon pullback in K. Um, value low, value high. I, I would expect some major league chop inside of yesterday's range. So maybe in A period, there's some visual trades to take, again, against either. It all depends on how much heat you want to take. Do you take it against the pullback? Do you take it against value low? Or do you wait and take it against the overnight low? From K's low to the overnight low is four points or so. If you don't mind four points worth of heat, you can start along down there. You could actually add to it. it. Takes out the overnight low, I would get out because then odds are you might go continue to take out yesterday's low. Yesterday's low doesn't have much meaning to me because we're already down on the daily. On the flip side, if this is to push up, again, we had a 13 wide pock close to where settlement was. The better short for me would probably be against value high and against the um, price probe because where there were buyers late yesterday, they're not there this morning as of yet. Above that, I would get out because then we'll see if they go and attempt to get the overnight high and put the daily back into balance. We'll recap all of these charts uh, tonight, all of the indices right now. Here's uh, SPY and ES inside week right now. So unless we take out, yes, uh, last week's high was 453. So unless we have a massive rally, who are certainly not going to uh, take out last week's high. Last week's low was still about $4 away. So it would still be a pretty good move to not have an inside week. We'll see how that pans out after today. And the daily right now firmly down as we're one time framing down three days. Thanks for liking, subscribing to this channel. Good luck trading today. And we'll recap the day and the week at 4 p.m.